Hey guys, welcome back to Hallway Hot Takes. When we ask people the questions you're dying to know the answers to. This week, we asked people what their favorite classroom was. And got an exclusive tour. What's your favorite classroom in NHS and why? My favorite classroom, Miss Megan Murphy classroom, because Miss Megan Murphy's in it, and it's pretty, and there's flowers in the back. Hi there, I'm Megan Murphy. This is room 226, and this is my classroom. Come on in. As you can see, we've got uh, a whole wall of windows and lots of nice plants. We've got a room full of biologists doing lovely work. Um, and then I think the best part of my classroom is actually the plant room. Come on, this way. We keep it locked off semester because there's lots of cool stuff back here. It's empty right now, which is kind of unfortunate. But if you come back next spring or in any spring semester, you'll see all sorts of plants and vegetables growing um, and less general clutter. It's a lot greener in here uh, during the spring. But it's pretty warm. Uh, we get lots of natural light and we grow a ton of vegetables in plant science and food justice. So this is my whiteboard and on top of my whiteboard I like to keep a lot of trinkets from former students and colleagues. Um, anytime students leave me like little paper clearings or any other origami I like to collect them up on my board. Over here is my desk. Uh, where I have lots of other trinkets and notes and letters from some of my uh, students throughout the past three years here at Northampton. Um, I like to make a classroom space that tries to feel warm and welcoming, um, and I think that decorations and little memories from other students is a great way to do that. What's your favorite classroom in NHS and why? I'd say Miss Power Green's room because it's like small but in like a nice way, and she's just very welcoming, so it makes it feel pretty homey. Hello. Welcome to Miss Power Green's classroom, room 206. And this is Miss Paula. So we'll start our tour with one of our favorite parts of our classroom, which is this quote. We hope that our students can be motivated by our speeches on the wall without us giving a speech. And this is our bowl of hand sanitizers. Over here, we have the lunch board, which is like a little lunch menu, like sandwich board where we post the daily lunch, and then we have our little puzzle corner. Um, we have a couple more quotes up on the wall. You will notice we have fall decorations, and some um, around the classroom are different pictures of local places that students can go to hike or find nature and get outside. And over in this corner is new this year. We have a self-service project. So when students have to do a project, they can pick up a bin, pick up colored pencils, crayons, tape, scissors, markers, and have a seat at their station uh, to work on that. And then we also created this year a self-care drawer so students are able to come over here during class, grab what they need, and still be able to attend to what we're doing. One of my favorite places in the classroom is our board. This We haven't started this yet, but we will. We'll be creating group journals um, based off of these topics. I notice our flamingo lights. Obviously, every room should have flamingo lights. <laughs> and then last but definitely not least is another corner. We have mindful cards and then we also have some photos of different um, field trips and different things I've done with students over time. Everyone, this is my classroom. Thank you for coming for a tour.